A queen born in Omaha, Nebraska, ask about it. Sixteen, buried my daughter in a casket. Teen mother of four kings, that's why I'm so passionate. They underestimated the kid, but I've been doing this. Trying to shut me down, life lessons moving through the South. Put in that work, build myself up from the ground. I earn my position, you can't take my crown. I earn my position, you can't take my crown. Ashe, welcome or welcome back to the channel. Thank you all so much for your continued love and support. You all can book your personal readings down below in the description bar. I also offer phone readings, so check that out, okay? Uh, also, to let you all know, this is for motivational purposes, to help you all to elevate and ascend into being the best version of yourself, to be able to live your dreams, to be able to manifest whatever it is that you desire, but also to know yourself, really know who you are, why you're here, okay? So I am a spiritual guide, spiritual practitioner, right? I am here to lead you all and give you guys advice, confirmation, motivation, inspiration, okay? Just in your daily lives. One week to one month. This is going to be your 24-hour read, actually, okay? Uh, but something could also be happening within one week to one month, okay? So 24 hours after you hear this, count. it's like almost like is when your countdown can begin. 111 is on the phone. Because of my edited music, it may have been a little bit different, though. But one week to one month... Okay, something is going to be taking place. Something possibly um, with your finances here, with your money. Okay, okay, that's good. So 24 hours. So even if it's a month, you got 30 days. Start preparing is what I heard. I heard start preparing. You got up to within the next 30. It's almost like this is the next 30, 30, 30 um, days again almost. But it's going to be for 24 hours. So we go see what else comes out, right? But uh, after the 24 hours after you hear this is when this countdown can begin for you, okay? But yeah, that's some. That's also over the next um, 30 days from start within the next week uh, in 30 days, you know, within this time frame to really uh, pay attention to your finances and and so forth is what I am getting as well. You know, your budgeting, how you're paying your bills, everything else. Some of you guys um, has given me your spent. Some of you guys could be spending all your money on like you know makeup, Sephora, your beauty, and so forth. Is what I'm picking up on as well. FedEx, yeah, y'all could be getting a whole bunch of packages and stuff in the mail. Travel, first class, private jet, okay. Um, some of you guys definitely are traveling here coming up. Yeah, well, okay. So within this. Um, one week to a month, you guys could be traveling is what I am picking up on. Also, you guys could be expecting some type of packages. Also, your business may require you to mail out, you know, products. Okay. So you guys are packaging all the time and you guys are sending out your products, building your businesses is what I am getting. Also, there could be a delivery, like I said, that you're getting here as well. You guys could be ordering on Amazon or, you know, Target or, you know, like I said, Sephora, wherever, or, you know, DoorDash. Things of that nature is what I'm picking up on. Okay, some of you guys are very high maintenance as well. Or you guys, you know, don't mind paying for convenience, okay? Or, for, you know, you know your time is valuable, all right? But, yeah, you guys are definitely traveling. And the way you travel is, you know, first class or, you know, literally... Or, like, you literally always be tra traveling first class. Some of you guys, you know, may fly private jet. But also, even if you're flying, you know, any other level, like coach, how you guys could still, you know, when you fly... You guys are very organized, prepared. You guys look good going through the, the airport, you know. It's like you're just still very, you know, high maintenance, you know, in that regards as well. So it doesn't matter if, where you're sitting at on the plane, you, you know. I just bought a new apartment. So some of you guys, uh, within the next 24 hours or sometime soon, you guys are really going to be um, 
uh, maybe getting in a new place, getting a new apartment. Some of you guys could be purchasing like some type of new lease or getting a new lease or purchasing a home. And as I say that, this major purchase had flew out. Okay, just do it. Yes, there's a major purpose. The Spirit is saying, just do it. Spirit says, I'm going to take care of you with this make it rain. Spirit says, I'm going to rain down the funds, the resources, whatever it is it, that's required for whatever major purpose this is. Okay, some of you guys, this could definitely, like I said, be like a... Um, this could be furniture for your home, okay? Or, you know, this could be that class that you really want to take that's going to help elevate you. Shoot, it could be a read for me. Just do it. Major purchase, it doesn't necessarily have to mean the dollar amount. It's the impact that it has on you as well. If you keep coming back watching, then you invest. Invest in yourself first and foremost. It's an investment for you because of you know how I read. You get what I mean? So, or it doesn't even have to be that. It could be anybody's course or some type of, you know, schooling you wanted to take anything. It, that could, any type of major purpose, any type of investment within yourself. Spirit is going to, you know, some of you guys want to go to beauty school or learn to do hair and nails. Or, you know, maybe there's something that you, like a POS system that you need for your business. Spirit is saying, go ahead and do it. Whatever this is, this major purpose purchases for you is going to help elevate you physically um, or mentally or it's going to put you in a certain class or it's like a certain um, it's going to up level you in some type of way it's like you making this purchase it's like okay literally you were in this area you know but now you're you're up here type of energy with with a whole nother the way you operate is different by you investing in yourself in some type of way okay the type of people you're around the rooms that you're in Okay, but yeah, let's just do it here. Major purchase. Spirit is saying, just do it. Do it. Next 24 hours. Okay, something about your youth or children, child care. Pay attention to your children over the next 24 hours very closely for some of you guys, you know. Motherhood, fatherhood, you know, kind of being that 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 parent, that parental mode maybe for the next 24 hours. Really honing in, tapping in as well. You know, seeing like really giving your children maybe 20 minutes extra at the dinner table or something like that. Or even five minutes or having some type of deep conversation or something. Look, we got a contract. I'm t you can't make this up. We got major purchase contracts, lawyer, legal, paperwork, signature. Some of you guys are, have just purchased some type of house. Is what I'm picking up on. Okay. Some of you guys, it could be a car as well. Like a really nice car. All right. Um, for some of you guys, I don't know who's all is watching, but I heard your first car. So, okay. Shout out to you. Somebody maybe, and you don't have to be super young, you know, to be, um, to, to, it doesn't matter what age you are, you know, but that's very interesting. But I mean, oh, oh, that's what I was saying as well. You don't have to be super young to get your first car as well. You know, it's some people I know, like they literally still don't have their license. They don't drive. I mean, a lot of people upstate New York, they don't have their license either, you know, so it just depends, you know, so it could, you could be older, but just your first car because of whatever your life circumstances was. You get what I mean? Yes, I'm trustworthy. Where you think you're going? These energies wanted to be here. This is definitely here. Okay, you guys are going to be signing some type of paperwork with uh, possibly within the next 24 hours, definitely within the next week to month here. Or something's going to re require your signature. I heard John Hancock. <laughs> so, yeah, some of you guys may need to tap into something legal or pay attention, like cross your T's, dot your I's. You guys really want to pay attention to anything that you're signing. Be very careful. Read it twice or get it. Some of you guys may need to get legal advice about something as well as what I'm picking up on. Okay. Maybe in regards to this major purchase that you guys have here. Yeah. Okay. Let's see what else is here. Let's get one more. This is for the next 24. This. The, where you think you're going? There's some type of contract that you have that you that you have to fulfill. Where you think you're going? Some of y'all, you know what your purpose is, but you're trying to stop. You're trying to quit. Are you like, man, I ain't doing this or something like that? You're like, uh, uh the type of work it requires. It's like you're contracted to do something, or you could be contracted to be a, cer a certain place. Like, let's say you at um in a relationship or, or a job. Whatever it is, right? It's like you're contracted to be there, even if it's kind of uncomfortable and you know you may have plans to leave or you have plans to, you know, 
do something different. You don't want what, what you see or what you're experiencing right now. There's a contract for you to, it's like you trying to be like, man, uh-uh. And although we can manifest and change our lives at any moment, this was part of what, where you were meant to be or who you were supposed to be around or whatever the case may be, right? That's what I'm picking up on with this as well. So it's like you could be finishing off some type of contract that you're going to be coming up out of, you know, but it's spiritual. You know, this is earth school. We 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 may not like everything we got to do. Look, we got marriage, relationships, partnerships, connections. This could be a marriage y'all in. Somebody, somebody you married to, they're like, uh-uh, where you think you're going? So maybe some of you guys um, were separated from somebody that you guys were married to. Not divorced, but separated, you know? I mean, for some of y'all, this could be somebody that you was divorced, that you have divorced, and they like, uh-uh, I want you type of thing. But this is somebody that's only separated, you know, possibly legally separated as well. But some of you guys just two different homes, you know, or you're, I'm like, who, I heard who can afford that anymore, you know, but a lot of people can, you know, just depending on what level, but it's a, you are wherever you think you are. I got something to say about abundance too, and this is coming up, um, for whatever reason, but some of you guys could still be in the same household, but you guys have some, you guys, it's just weird for some of you guys, right? Um, within this marriage or relationship and you know that it's over, somebody is like, uh-uh, one you were that was supposed to take place what whatever however you continue moving forward is your choice but all i can tell you is that this is part this whole relationship that you experienced even if it is over was part of you know this contract however this person is saying where you think you going this person you in this relationship this partnership this connection this marriage with or this whatever this is they say and where you think you're going so you guys can be trying to ghost somebody what is, wait, what's going on? Over the next 24 hours, you ghosting somebody? <laughs> Who y'all ghosting? Like, wait a minute. This is, is funny. This is some funny energy. Oh, we about to tap in. This is some cool energy. Like, y'all, y'all about to ghost somebody? Like, what is going on? What y'all doing? <laughs> Let's see. We about to get this tea. All right, love. We got lovers picking up the deck. What's here? Ashe. What messages are here? Let me just go see what comes out for whatever comes out. It may not necessarily be that, you know, but we just go, you know, we still go see what this is, but we just go see what comes out. Ashe. Great Spirit, what messages are here? Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, what messages are here? Toil and labor. I don't like the way that flipped out. It's almost like it was forced out. Some of you guys may be being forced to work. Oh, the way I said forced out and then like, you know, type of thing. It's like you work, it's work, 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 work. Okay, lovers. Maybe this person is going to be putting in a lot of work, 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 work as well. Maybe they were forceful. You were forceful. I don't know. There was some type of force. Like, mm. like the way it flipped out was like, here, take it type of thing you know that's just it wasn't that type of it wasn't negative energy like that but it was just kind of like that force like that mm. or like somebody playing cards playing spades you know playing bones okay dominoes but yeah lovers yeah y'all could yep yeah, told y'all y'all was this marriage this marriage this could be a relationship right the lovers but this marriage this is an actual marriage for somebody as well somebody's marriage was in bad health, okay, an actual marriage, all right, legally married, let me put it that way, also, we got this lovers here, like, literally a contract, paperwork, y'all had to sign legal documents to get married, not, you know, uh, the, the lawfully married, like, the state laws or whatever, like, uh-uh, common, common marriage, mm, mm I don't even know if that even exists no more, you know, but anyways, this relationship or marriage was in bad health or something like that, so this could be a relationship that you're currently in, that you're currently connected to, you and this person. So, you know, but anyway, something about your work within 24 hours, one week to one month, you know, there may be like the perfect partnership, the, per the perfect match, the perfect contract here when it comes to your work. Okay. It may be something you got to grind with since I said it was like, uh, ooh, as you hit that great fortune, you know what I heard? Hit the quan, hit the quan. So, ooh, wealthy man. So, with that being said, 
it's like you hitting the grind, like how I said, you know, it's like, mm, it's like you hitting the ground running on something on your work, okay? Or you, you seeing your business pick up over this time because of the work you put in, the grind, the hustle that you put in. That's why you travel the way you do. That's why you're able to take care of yourself the way you do. All right, we have wealthy man and great fortune. So this could be a job or this could be an actual person, whether this is this wealthy man watching or whether this is a wealthy man that's in your energy here, okay? Also, this great fortune, this is something that's coming from some work that you have done, okay? Uh, some type of opportunity or connections or something of that nature here, okay? That wealthy man can be... Um, it could be anything, you know, it could be a job as well as what I was saying is okay. Um, also, the the great fortune could also be, you know, uh, salary. It could be it could be any type of income. Uh, OK, for you. Let's see what else is here. Any type of monies, currencies. Also, I'm getting like, you know, different uh, international currencies. We have community here. It was flipped upside down. Okay. It came out like this, but, uh, with this community here. Okay. Some of you guys can be flying to see your family is what I am picking up on. Some of you guys could be flying away or leaving away from home or leaving away from a family. Some of you guys could be leaving away from this work group as well. Cause it was originally like this is how it came out. I'm gonna leave it like that. I'm being proud. I feel like, yeah. Yep. I feel like it's supposed to be that over like this. And the fact that I'm saying it, that's what it's supposed to be. Your question is always in your, your answer is always in your question. And look, I just heard that the other day. And somebody told me that a few months ago as well. You know, I heard that. I heard that before, but it had been a while. And then when I heard her say it, and then I heard somebody else say it a little recently, uh, a little while ago. Um, but we have a mature woman here and marriage is here again. Okay. Some of you guys may be feeling kind of locked up in, in a marriage. It's like you ready to go for some of you guys. But let's see what else comes here. Some of you guys could be leaving a family situation and focusing on your dreams and your goals as well. That's the energy I'm picking up here. I don't know what this is. We also have mature woman. Yeah, you, you're this mature woman. You're making this major purchase here. Or somebody, see, somebody sees you not as a purchase. I don't want to say it like that or go there you know um but somebody sees you as a major as a big deal like being with you it's like you cost is what i'm picking up on you cost like i said you guys could be very you know high maintenance or something of that nature here but you guys definitely you you guys are mature you guys know your worth is what i'm picking up on and somebody sees you and they see that you're a major deal i'll put it that way and somebody sees you as you know fit for marriage as well as what i see here so if you're in a connection and you're not married someone sees you as married or if you're dating and you're really hitting it off with somebody somebody may see you as you know marriage material is what i'm picking up on because you're this mature woman here Look, this keeps coming out on the channel. Oh, there's some type of contract with a child here in this sudden wealth, this new beginning, a contract for this new beginning. Some of you guys having a new baby, that's a new contract, you know, you guys opening up that portal for that child to come through, right? Um, that's some type of contract that you guys have. Whoever is deliver, I heard whoever's delivering a baby. So somebody's delivering a baby. I heard for whoever's delivering a baby. So somebody has the is delivering a baby or has delivered a baby, okay? Possibly a little girl. I know I've been t talking about that on the channel, right? Or the last read, I think, or whenever. But we got a child here. So this could be a new beginning as well. This contract is going to bring in some type of new beginning for you. Whether this is a spiritual contract, meaning you have a different subconscious mindset. So and it's part of the spiritual contract for you to live something out. Right. Or whether it's a physical contract where it's literally going to require paperwork, your signature, which is legal. Right. You may not need a lawyer, but it's still some type of legal document involved. This could be you signing um, an offer letter for some of you guys as well. Sudden wealth. Ooh, there's a marriage here that's surrounded by great fortune. This is a royal com company. I heard a uh, royal company. Your company is royal. This is a royal couple. Okay, and I also heard royal court, court, I can't remember all of them, court, couple, and then company. So this royal, uh, it's like this royal uh, couple has a royal court and a royal company. 
And the court I'm getting is like your home, like pulling up, you know, Roy's Royce, like to your roundabout, your brick roundabout type of energy, you know, that, that type of thing. You know, some of you guys, got, I'm hearing, I'm hearing like maid servants or, you know, drivers and so forth is what I'm picking up on. Look, look at all this great fortune and sudden wealth. And if you guys really do the math, it really, y'all can say some, if you talk about it, it, it does cost a lot. Get the fuck off my channel. You ain't in the right mind frame. <laughs> you ain't got the right mindset. This is, you got to have a, a mindset about abundance, right? Um, however, it's like, it's, if you really do the math though, it's not, a, it doesn't take a whole lot to have the things that you really truly desire to live. If you know how much things cost and if you know your lifestyle and how much your lifestyle costs, you got, you got I mean, your actual numbers, if you kind of like, you know, just do even a roundabout, you'll be like, oh, I could do this every single day, drink this every day, eat this every day. I could do this and this is how much it'll be. If you see the total of how much your lifestyle really is and then to get a, a, a nice house, it doesn't mean you got to have that amount of money, so to speak. You got to have the right credit and uh, other things, you know, or you automatically get some type of money from, you know, court system, whatever the case may be, you know, because it could be any type of thing. You know, people leave people money, all of that. You know, maybe you're able to purchase your house just outright, you know, and have, if, depending on where you are, where you live, uh, it, it doesn't have to be. You could still, let's say, get, let's say, a $500,000 house, which ain't a, a, a lot in some places, you know, like Cali. But let's say a million-dollar house. We'll just go there. You could still get a million-dollar house, you know, still on, depending, and not, it's still, let's say, if you had $100,000 or $200,000, you know, depending on what your credit is, like, I mean, per year. Like, if let's say if you make $100,000, $200,000 per year or something like that or whatever, you know, you could still, what I'm saying is you don't have to be a millionaire to get a million-dollar house. You know, maybe how I said it isn't the most accurate or whatever the case may be, but you get what I'm saying. Look at all this money, opportunities, people, actual money, opportunities, connections, doors opening. That's what I'm picking up on. So no matter what, over the next, if nothing else, over the next 24 hours, even if you listen to this read, once you go to sleep, your subconscious is go, I, I know who I am. My energy is clean and clear. I'm going to seep into your, your subconscious and it's going to put you in this energy over the next 24 hours and watch how blessed you are. Be Watch how you walk and you talk. It's like it's about really knowing who you are as a divine being and walking in that energy and whatever you want for yourself. Even if you're completely single and you like ain't nobody in your energy or maybe some of you guys don't want to be in a relationship. It's still you having that bond partnership with spirit, right? And you guys having this income, this money that is here, period, period. Some of you guys that's in this connection, relationship, marriage, whatever, y'all can have a child together as well. Or you could be pregnant for them right now is what I just heard. So I'm, I'm sharing that information, you know, but that's what I see. You have a really great relationship with spirit, even if you're with someone, of course, you know, but even if it's just you, you have an amazing relationship with spirit. That's why you have all of this. That's why spirit looking out for you. Spirit look out for you. Spirit make sure that you good. Okay, and then we got this bad health here as well. Okay, so you are in a bad health, even if you are high honor. This could be your um your health as well, like actual sick, you know. Okay, but we don't say that. We will say healing. I don't even get sick at all, you know. But if I was, I would say I'm healing, right? Don't say you're sick. Say I'm healing. All right, be mindful of your words. But what I was going to say, um, but yeah, if you were in this situation, any type of way, you're being healed. Spirit is pouring healing all over your body is what I'm picking out, picking up on. So maybe you guys need to pick out something as well. Somebody may have picked on you or was trying to, but it didn't work. It backfired or something like that. But I also heard somebody is bedridden or somebody could have been bedridden or somebody around you is bedridden. They're going to have some type of healing poured out to them as well. It's like... Ashe, I am a Reiki practitioner, so I am sending out healing energy here. Y'all see the glare on my hands? I'm actually using um, my money oil by Z Intuitive, so y'all go tap into her, okay? Yes, so that's what that is, all right? Facts. <laughs> I know she has good, clean, clear energy as well. 
I make my own as well, but I also like supporting other people that I know have that good, good energy. Facts. But what I was going to say about abundance and um, how you see things and how you see life, right? Y'all probably thought I forgot, huh? I low-key did. <laughs> but I said something that just reminded me when I was talking about that abundance. <laughs> Y'all know me so well. Anyways, um, pick up on this good, 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 good energy. Facts. So I was watching uh, Mellow Will. Mellow, take the wheel. All right, Mellow Will TV, and he had this um, this diaphragm that he grew, this diagram, something about uh, somebody's diaphragm. Your name could also be Daphne or Daphne, okay? It's giving me uh, Scooby-Doo energy as well. But yeah, something about your diaphragm or something like that. Something's going on, okay, with somebody, I say. And if I say it, yeah. So anyways, with the... The, the diagram that he had, the picture that he drew, you know, uh, he was saying he, it, it was a picture of a whole bunch of green trees. I mean, just circle, it was pretty much circles and it was probably like 30 of them, something like that. Right. Y'all can go check out the video. Okay. On Mellow Will, Will, uh, Mellow Will TV. So, and then at the bottom, out of all these green trees, the forest, that's what it is. There's one red tree. And that's the one that we shall not, quote unquote, eat of, right? And he was saying how abundance is abundant. Because I was talking about abundance and lack type of energy earlier in the video. If you guys go back and rewind it, right? There's way more abundance, way more people with money, way more thriving and fortune that is going on in this world. But if you focus on that little tree and the, the analogy he gave is, you know, God came in and said, um, uh, you can eat of all of these trees, but that one right there, do not touch it. That type of thing. And then eventually the serpent came in and said something that God did not say. Right. So, and so to speak. And then uh, made them shift their focus to that one tree, which is the lack. It makes you think in the lack. Oh, wait, I can't have this one. You know what? Why can't I have this type of energy? So now you, instead of now, you done blocked out your abundance because you didn't focus on that one little bitty tree. But what about all these ones that you can't have? So stop focusing in on lack and saying something's not possible. I told somebody um, that we're literally spending on. And uh, 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 its own act, the world is spinning on its own axis as it's actually as well spinning around the sun. Like we're magical. This life is magical. We're magical. The earth is magical. It's those who gonna get it on this earth. They're gonna tap in, and for everybody else, they go block it out. And I'm talking foolish, you know. So again, if this is your radio frequency, tap 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 in. It ain't going to be a broadcast for everybody, so to speak. But yeah, tap into the abundance is what that message is saying. Don't allow something to shift your mindset to be so concerned about what you quote unquote can't have. It now becomes bigger than the amount of abundance. But abundance is a lot of something, whether it's money, friendships, opportunities constantly flowing your way that lasts a lifetime, infinite infinite, you know, infinite, that type of energy, you know. So it's like, Really tapping in to the abundance of who you are because abundance can be that. And it was something else I was going to say. Abundance can be, um, abundance is also abundant, meaning there's a lot of it, you know? So one tree is abundance, but one tree has a lot on it. But then there's a, a the trees itself are abundance. You know, there's a whole lot of other trees next to it. And then the trees and all the other cities and states and counties and continents and countries and everything else. You get what I'm saying? So it's abundant. Everything is abundant. You know how many dollars are floating around? You know how many pennies are floating around? You know how, to, how many hundreds are floating around? You know how many houses there are? How many houses do you pass or, or apartments or whatever? Cars on one car lot do you guys pass? You know, or do you see, you know, the banks that you pass, all the money that's in it? You know, those car lots, going back to that, how many cars is on one lot? And how many lots are there type of energy? You get it? Also, we are in Santorini, uh, Greece tonight. You know, that's what we listening to. You guys probably can't hear it. 
But yeah, we're at the Santorini Cafe in Santorini, Greece. That's the vibes that we're going for. That's what's here, okay? But yeah, let's get one more. But just think about that with the abundance. Maybe you guys need to go back and rewatch this. That way you guys can actually know what I was talking about the very first time with abundance to connect it. Everybody, of course, ain't going to do that. But if you want to, it'll make sense for you. Let's get one more. We got coughing. Ooh, because you ended something with somebody. You ending something with somebody or you ended something? You ending this contract. To me, y'all ending something. A message. You going to send somebody a message or somebody sending you a message about family, this lovers. Somebody may want to send you a message, though. I don't know what this is. Somebody that you could be talking to. Maybe something ain't over with somebody, you know? Whoa, okay. Well, dang. Somebody's in despair because they don't have you. Somebody's in despair because they don't have you. Somebody wants a new beginning with you. They see who you, you're this mature person here, coughing. Somebody holds you a high honor. Somebody knows that you're the best that they that they will ever come across type of energy within this lifetime. If people maybe have connected with others after you, you know, just, you know, and I'm referring to just being next to them or how people, pe people's attitude ain't like yours. You know, it's like you have an amazing type of positive attitude. Everybody else, you know, that this person has connected with or dated, it just didn't match up to yours or didn't make them feel good how you make them feel good or the way that you clean or the way that you would take care care of a person or cook whatever you would do you know and even you know intimately whatever you know people are I heard it's trash so people saying you know after you everybody else was trash whether it was you know how you treated them in a relationship and uh intimately as well somebody is in despair somebody know that they up is what I pick up on as well that's what they saying where you think you going but I don't know really this ain't no oh somebody from the past type thing coming back but at the same time you know Something is ended. I see you ending something. Somebody don't want you to end something. Somebody just don't want you to not be with them. Okay. Message of concern. Yeah, somebody want to send you some type of message. What's this message of concern? And we're going to close this thing out. What's this message of concern? I'm actually get a closing message from another occupation. This could be something about work. Somebody could have been trying to do something at work. Okay, over the next 24 hours, you may figure this out. Over the next 24 hours, you may be getting this message of concern as well. About or you may come to some type of conclusion over the next 24 hours as well about your relationship. You may be going back and forth about a connection. You may decide to actually let it go. You know, it could be holding you back. It could be also be holding up what you do for work. You know, you're going to free yourself and maybe focus on your work and put your time into your work, your family, your children, yourself, you know, something like that. The combination. What's this message of concern? But again, it could be about work. Let's get one more fifth message of concern. Message of concern. Courtship is definitely something about a relationship and work. Maybe your work relationship. Maybe you work. I don't know what this is. Y'all going to have to figure this out. This could be somebody that y'all have actually worked with as well. Maybe this is somebody you've um, spent time with. You know, I heard buddy, buddy or buddies. So this could be, ooh, this could be your buddy. This could be your best friend. Some of you guys, your best friend, you guys could work with them, but they also may, you know, take a liking to you i'm also hearing photographs so this could be let's say if you're a, a model and this person is a photo a photographer they you know they're an entrepreneur and they take you they take photos and maybe you've been a client of theirs and they like you and y'all work together that type of thing so it, it could be somebody you've connected with and you've worked with you know but it's like they want to you know say hey you know on, on some personal, you know, how, how can I take you out? Or, you know, would you like to connect, you know, and go out for coffee or something like that, you know, is what I'm picking up on. Somebody wants to get to know you. That's what I'm getting. Somebody wants to build something with you. Somebody wants to work with you. So it's, it's two different energies that seem like here as well. So it seems like some of you guys are ending something, but I also see some of you guys have a, con a connection, a message from somebody who sees you and wants to be in this connection with you. 
and it could possibly lead to marriage. So there's a few love messages here. This is general. So a lot of different things are going to come out for your own personal. What's going on in your personal life. Oh, baby. And I'm accurate. I'm accurate. It ain't just for fun. I'm accurate. It's going to be real. Okay. It, it, I'll be able to pick up on if you you know what's going on. You know, if, if it's for love. If you book a love reading, I'm going to be able to tell you what's going on with your love life. Right. Um, but uh, this is somebody that wants to come into your life for some of you guys. And, and really connect. But some of you guys are making the decision to end and walk away from a connection. So pay attention over the next 24 hours. You guys may be getting a message. Definitely, like I said, within this one week to one month. But it's definitely going to be about marriage. Marriage here, marriage here. Okay, we got we got that, that here twice. Yeah. Yeah, somebody holds you at high honor. Somebody's no longer in their mind. They see. They like, okay. I, so It's like to the point where it's like somebody or people have to start admitting who you are, even these people at work, you know, they have to admit, okay, yeah, that person's a bomb. They, they, yeah, people have respect for you over the next 24 hours. Look, y'all have spiritual gifts. Let's get one to close this message out. Let's close this, this message out, Ashe. Prayers and intentions, your prayers and intentions have been heard. Forgiveness, yeah, somebody may want you to, you know, I heard, may want to connect and talk or something. Whoa, guess what just popped back out? forgiveness somebody really wants you to forgive them somebody look we got pack up and leave okay somebody uh, may want you to forgive something forgive them and i'm not talking about you know oh somebody abused you i don't even come over here with all of that <laughs> you know it could be somebody that you know you met you talk it could be a whole lot of different situations but it's going to be in a positive way you know i um, mean even, even if you my grandparents was married over 60 years you got to have forgiveness in that Everything ain't worth walking away as well. You get what I mean? But y'all know what's what, you know? Okay, so somebody definitely does want your forgiveness. Somebody's been praying that you guys can truly move forward and live that happy life or something. Okay? Especially if you guys were married and the separated type thing, depending on what was going on. But somebody may want to, you know, this person, they may say, hey, let's move to a new city town and not to hide up no BS that they were doing or nothing like that. It's y'all both like, hey, yes, yeah, it's, it's time to build our lives. This is on some serious type stuff. Team, you can't make it up. Teamwork makes a dream work. Somebody somebody wants to partner with you because y'all winning in real life. We're going to put those down there together too. Ancient. Say yes to life. Yeah, saying yes to life. Just in general, couple or not, married or not single or not so if you're single this is for you too teamwork makes a dream work even if it's for you know if you have your own business you, you need the other people to purchase still that's still teamwork you offer the products you offer you know whatever it is and they buy that's teamwork you get what i'm saying they, they're, they're getting something valuable from you so it, or either this is a relationship Pray over your work. Pray over your soul tribe. Pray over the people that you, you know, are with all the time. So if you go to work, pray for, you know, the people that you work with type of energy because you're there. You get what I'm saying? So pray, you know, for, for all of that. Pray, you know, I heard school. If you work at a school or something like that, if you're in a school environment, pray. You know, say your prayers, you know, pray over yourself, pray over your classroom, pray over your, over the children, you know, it say, you can say it silently or before you go to work or whatever, you know, just, you know, that you're watched over that, you know, whoever's in your soul tribe, you know, send out positive energy and positive vibrations for them is what I'm picking up on your family and your friends and, you know, uh, your relationships, any place, you know, bless the path ahead of you, you know, even if you just go into the store right quick, you know. Spirit, bless this path ahead, you know? Speak your life, period. It's not just asking for big things, it's all of it. But you winning in real life, whoever you are. Let's get one more. Do y'all like these long readings? Because I'm like, dang, it's too long. <laughs> I don't be wanting it to be this long either, but this is just the way spirit be going. I do not want it to be being this long. So, Spirit, is there any more? Or is that it? Because we can be done. Any more, Spirit? Okay. Well, dang. Boundaries. Some of you guys need to set boundaries with your spiritual gifts. If you guys have spiritual gifts, you know, it's like really, um, really protect yourself. 
you know, um, and set up boundaries, keep boundaries up, okay, is what I'm getting. But you have natural spiritual gifts, okay, use your spiritual gifts as well as what I'm hearing. All right, we just go do a little something fun right quick. Does not want to come out. Yep, spirit, mediumship, and communications come to the edge. That's those spiritual gifts. All right, let's see where it stops. Ooh, look, no, 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 no. Soul tribe. So definitely something about your soul tribe. Allow the universe to do its thing when it's, it has to do with the people that you're around, your family, the people that you're meant to connect with, the people that's meant to be around you to help celebrate you. Facts. All right, let's get one more. You're a boss. Say yes to life. Boom. I'll put that one like this. Say yes to life. And you're a boss. Definitely. Spirit is saying get to work as an entrepreneur. Look, didn't I tell y'all that y'all buying a new house or car? I did not tell y'all that. You're, you're, I'm telling you, you're a boss. Whatever you do for work is, is bringing you in income. Or this could be something that you're building. You Major purchase. You can't make this up. I mean, if you ain't booked your reading yet, then what you doing? Major purchase. Major purchase. Spirit is being very clear here. I'm just saying. I mean, y'all see it. Y'all watching the video. That's why I like video because y'all can see it. Y'all can actually see it. Like, I know what I be talking about. And again, new here. But yeah, y'all got this major purpose. Make, ah, I was saying major purchase, but y'all got this major purpose as well that y'all focus on. Y'all occupation, which I do for work. Spirit go take care of you. Spirit go make it rain on you. Remember that? And whatever this marriage is, is very abundant. I mean, this was a hella, this, it may have been a little long, but shit, it was, it was hella, it was hella good. It was hella bomb. So a lot of different messages in here. Again, it's general. You guys can book your personals down below. Ashe. All right. Also, if you guys are new to the channel, welcome. Welcome. You guys can go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Hit that thumbs up button. And I will see y'all in the next one. I am Nayla Latrice. Peace.